So, yeah. quick recap of last session. Um, you guys defeated Hunda after your um, trials and tribulations to uh, defend the city of Neverwinter. You eventually got your revenge on the Red Rage and uh, slaying him twice, once at the hand of Dela, a second time at the hand of Sang. Um, everything sort of comes to a bit of a still, a bit of a rest, and you gather that he's probably not returning for a third time today. Yeah. Um, as Rogar carries Sang's uh, unconscious body, um, well, she, she has drank a potion, but for the purposes of Michael not being here, I'm going to say Sang has pushed herself to her limits right now, and she's just unconscious. Um, and uh, the Planetar will fly over to Marion, and Marion will just say, Thank you. Know that my service to Helm will be repaid in full. And she will bow. Planetar will just give a quick nod and uh, fly up into the heavens, dissipating as he like flies away. Um, Tristan, you run all the way up to the top, seeing as you were on the bottom floor. Yep. <laughs> um, and catch up with the gang. And uh, you are now all together, sort of reeling from this uh, incredible combat. Oh. And we all huddle in a circle and jump together and just celebrate. <laughs> I think we're think... in, in comas, so. Yeah. Uh, can I. Oh, hey, I was going you come out of your coma at this point. Well, I mean, you know. He's actually dead this time, right? I'm looking at the others. Marion just shrugs and is like, he's not coming back out of the lava. Well, I'm just there with my saw getting ready, like thinking like, just upset that I can't saw his tail off or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, you know, well, well done guys. I, I didn't really help you much there. I, you know, those kobolds were <laughs> a bit um, much. We all, we all teamed up together to do it. I think this, this victory belongs to us all. Um, Damn. Hold on one, one moment. I'm going to heal us with what little energy I have to spare. And uh, what's five times 16? Uh, uh, 80. 80. Okay. Marion can spread 80 hit points between those that need it. It can only take you up to half your max HP, though. Okay. Well, okay, I'm already about half, so. I, yeah, so you, you physically can't take any of it. I've got 42 at the minute, and my max is 142. Okay, read how so you do. 71. Max to halfway, I need an extra 16 hit points. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I'll give you 16. Was that 71 to you, Tristan? Wait, hang on. I need 29 HP to get to half. Okay, yeah, so 29 to you. So that's... 35. Um, Marion's fairly low herself. Rogar's probably low. Oh yeah, Rogar's yeah, check, fine. Yeah, check, 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 check Rogar. Right, she right. can do this. She, she can technically do this twice, so I, I can still get him up a bit. Uh, Rogar yeah. needs thirty-six HP. Okay, he can have it. What's half of one hundred and twenty-four? Uh, Sixty-two. Sixty-two. Cool. Miriam will heal herself up to that as well. And uh, if if Sang needs going up to half as well, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Sang's on like eight HP. A uh, fourteen HP. Sang's on. Okay. What's half of that? Half of her full. Half of her. What is her full? No one knows what her full HP is because she uh, always. Full HP is 125. Yeah, uh, same as okay. Mary's. I like how uh, uh, on Sang's like thing, you know, it's got characteristics and stuff. Like they're all empty, so like even where it says flaws, like there's nothing there. So it's... <laughs> oh wait, do you have access yeah. to Sang's character sheet now? <laughs> it's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I've added uh, a bit of extra on. Is that too much? Uh, yeah, that is yeah, too much. Yeah, 64 is that. So remove yeah. 10. Yeah, 64, sorry. I, I put the max I could heal her, but yeah, this only allows you to cop establish. Oh, okay, All right, now... 62, so... I was, I was... Yeah, okay, yeah, go for it. But yeah, now Marion is fully tapped. All right, well, <laughs> Tristan's still got some lay on hands, so we're okay. I've run out completely. First time ever, I've run out of potions and spells. Uh, yeah. Tristan... This is the first time I've ever been playing an NPC that's run out of all of their spell slots, all of their abilities, all of their magical item charges. Literally, Marion used everything. Tristan's still got two level threes and two level ones. Nice. That's all he's got left though. Uh, I've got 62 left in Lay on Hands as well, so... <laughs> We've got the backup. <laughs> uh, um, Mer Merriam will then just sort of say to the group, right, well, uh, I guess we go loot this uh, this place. Yeah, um, uh, I remember pa passing a, a, a dragon's egg and a bunch of chests on the way here, and there's probably more downstairs as well. Um, what do we oh. What do we do with all this? Well, um, what I propose with the gold, we have to lay aside one fifth for Luxon. Uh, well, let's say that, and uh, then we can divide the remaining between us. 
We also promised an eighth to the uh, the pirates. Oh, we don't care about pirates. Yes, I think yeah, we we'll just uh, screw them over once. So, <laughs> L L Luskin, it 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 does because they are our neighbors. They we it it does yeah, have good dip good yeah good diplomatic um, relations with them. Also, um, that uh, that fellow. You seem to have a good relationship with him. I'm not really too sure about all of that, but uh, yes, we don't need to pay anything to these pirates. No. Um, I think we, I say, we just teleport straight back, unless there's sure. anything people wanted to do here. We'll have to. We need to find yeah. the box of the Shadow King. Yes, well, let's uh, let's get searching then. But uh, should we start with these upper levels because there was some stuff here? Yes, Daylar, would you like to lead the investigation? Fine. We don't need. You don't need to roll anything. Um, oh. I, I think you've already you you took the the bottle that was here. And you put that in a bag of holding, Dela. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, I don't can remember write it down if it was. Yeah, but basically, you, you took whatever was there. There's also the egg, and then there was also a couple of chests in here that you have not opened yet. What What was the bottle called? Well, you didn't know what it was. You'd need to get it uh, magically identified. Right now, it just looks like a magical bottle with some sort of fiery liquid within it. Or, oh, 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 certainly a warm essence. Oh, by the way, is uh, just looking at Sang's character sheet, is she supposed to have proficiency in all the saving throws? Yes, that's a monk thing. Oh, Again, okay. monks are broken. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, let's get, get a move on, shall we? Uh... Uh, let's, yeah, let's check the treasure. Can we can we check the chests? Or like, the tinker tools and Check whatever. for traps. Mm. Yeah. Again, I'll say you don't need to roll anything. Everything that's here is on the, is uh, is on the table very much. Um, so you could try and pick these two chests. What do you want to do about the dragon's egg? How big is it? Massive. Big, I've got. It's a, a, I've got. A it's, about, it's about. It's, I'd say it's about like I don't know, four foot tall, um, maybe three foot wide. Like it's a pretty chunky thing. It wouldn't fit in the bag of holding per se. Um, but you could always just carry. But you can always just carry it around. Does with anyone you. know um, about anything about like dragon gestation like times? Uh, none of you would have any clue. Like, what about Rogar? Nah. No. Like, wait, no, but it's a dragon egg. Rogar, what, what's Draconia right like right now with the dragons? Um, what do you mean? Like, sh should we take it back to them? Well, well, like from what I can gather, Draconians like each of the noble families used to have um like a a dragon of their lineage. That was uh, sort of like their pet, but also sort of on equal terms. I'm not quite sure about it. Um, I know a bunch of the dragons left before we even got there. Um, the the Reds don't have a dragon right now, so I could take it to them as like a, a peace offering. But um, I mean, dragons are evil creatures, or certainly the Red ones are. I mean, I've got an idea. Yeah. I give it to Palaf. Safekeeping. A good dragon. What would a bronze dragon do with a red dragon egg, though? Raise it to be a good dragon. I mean, at the very least, he'd probably, he'd, he'd, he'd probably know what to do with it. Yeah, we, could, actually, we should ask I, him. I also I need to speak with Palaf for my plans, so I'd like to uh, use it as a bargaining chip if need be. Wait, what plans? Um, well, uh, uh, I might as well say it now. <sighs> Who lives on Mintan? There's 800 Cobalt. Sorry, not Mintan. Uh, Scatterrack Island. Who's still here? So there's probably pro probably still about 1,500 Cobalts. 1,500. Um, yeah, there was 2,000 um, that stayed behind. Rogar killed about 400 when he caused his earthquake. We'll say you guys probably mopped up about another hundred. Um, I want to so claim the island on behalf of the Blades of Trust. Or oh, now. I think we can convince the kobolds that this is our island and <laughs> them to work on behalf of the Blades of Trust. I've thought this out, uh... this plan out, because I want to eliminate the pirates and I need a base in in um, in this area. So I want this I want this area for the Blades of Trust. And the way in which I plan to control this area is by asking Pelath to live here. So they, because dra don't kobolds they they like only follow rules of dragons like they're only uh, well. I was gonna say, um, I guess yeah, Rogar would probably speak up at this point and say, well, dragons they like live in like around their sort of element. So I think Pelaf likes living by the sea because he's like a water dragon or something. But then like the fire dragons would like to live here because it's all like fiery and stuff. Like he can still live here, but just like not in the volcano. He can go like close to the sea. 
I think, I, I think I the whole gonna... the whole island is probably pretty vulcan. I mean, he, he is a dragon with his own ambitions and entity, like you know. I was gonna ask wants. him though. Can he just, as a favor for me, just chill here for a month, um, and like, and then like in that time, we get more and more people here to control the island for the Blaze of Trust. I, I mean, what do we hey, think? Well, it's up to you. I have no interest in this. I'm down for that. Ayla, what do you think? Yeah, I think controlling an island would be good, especially because we just killed the previous owner, so it's... That's I mean, the thing, by, I think we're, you know, we're entitled to it. By right of conquest, you are perfectly entitled to this. It's the same way I took Neverwinter, really. For the present, we have more pressing... Uh, no one's going to come to the volcano. Well, say so you're leaving the egg where it is for now. Yeah. Because it's big. Um, it, it's not going to go anywhere, let's be real. Ayla, if yeah. you want to uh, check these two chests, you can. Okay. Uh, investigation. Oh. Can investigate for for traps, yeah. Uh, Thirty-two. They are in fact trapped. Really? Mm -hmm. You gather they would blow up uh, if opened uh, incorrectly, so you can try and disarm the trap on each of these. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll <clears> try and disarm. <throat> we'll them. do it together to get advantage. Uh, no, <laughs> I think this would be a task that would be like. It would be better for just, with just one person doing it, because then they know where they're, where they're going with their thieves' tools. So yeah, just make a their thieves' tools check. Uh, yep, I'll say that's enough to uh, easily disarm both traps. Oh, and um, <laughs> again, rogues. Rogues can't roll lower than a 10. So it's just like, yeah, GG. Um, and then, yeah, I'll say also on that check, you can, you can pop open the lids easily enough. And uh, within each one, you find... Uh, a shard of a what is it? I haven't actually written it down. But it's basically a shard of elemental um, summoning. So it would be like a one-use thing. It, but you got two of them um, to summon a fire elemental. Oh, cool! Ooh, mm, that'd um, be useful. Yeah, and like I say, once you've used it, that's it. You've used it. Um, I'm not too sure on like how much control you have over the elemental. Uh, I'll try and I'll try and find it in the uh, thingy real quick and uh, show you the specifics. I've written it in my uh, bag of holding. I mean, I don't mind if it goes in yours, Sean, but I'm just keeping a record of it. Yeah, no, that's fine if you hold on to it. So it is in its own sort of like separate place of elemental gems, and then you go into it and you find red corundrum element. You got two of those. Corundum. Corundum. Yes. Nice. Oh, it's so if you had cast the Kunja Elemental spell, so I guess you just look at what that is. Yes, which I will quickly do. I think if it's color Kunja Elemental, then you probably do have an amount of um, control, I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah, the the Elemental is friendly to you and your companions for the duration. What is uh, the duration? One minute. So, like, again, that's a, a good a good amount of time in D&D &D combat, but not infinite, as we found out, because I think the last fight actually took two two whole minutes, which is a lot in d &D. Yeah, I was, yeah, that's probably our longest fight ever, I think, actually. I mean, yeah. I think it took longer because uh, we went, me and Sang went through 20 turns of haste. Mm -hmm. it, well, yeah, it was, it was 19, technically. Um, if you so want to get for three minutes. Yeah, I've just put the uh, the, the Kundra Elemental spell in uh, Discord, if someone wants to look it up. But If you want to get technical, the Battle of Neverwinter was probably our longest fight. Okay, yeah. <laughs> True. It lasted a whole day. It lasted a whole few hours, which is, is a lot. So I'm yeah. sure. Um, so yeah, you, you've uh, you've looted those two. Um, you've obviously got the. Uh, the... This duration's one hour. It's one minute. On this link that you sent it says. Oh. An hour. I swear I read one minute, but maybe that's just my brain going. Oh, it's... casting time is one minute. Ah, okay. Um, that's probably what I read. In the case of this, because you're not actually casting it, though, I'd say it's instantaneous because it's an item rather than a spell. Cool. But yeah, an hour is is fantastic. Um, yeah, you've still got this uh, this this bottle, which I'm not quite sure what that does. But uh, searching around the rest of the lair, uh, if you scroll down to the bottom for me, because that's the only area you guys haven't actually been to yet. Yep. Um, down here. So oh, like wait, this... When we went down there, did we have to walk over reeds, ball bearings? 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. yes, but like, I'm not going to make you roll for that. <laughs> There's just a bunch of kobold corpses all there, so it's fine. We can just walk over them. Yeah, I mean, the area itself is very hot. You can see these bodies just like slowly, slowly burning up. But yeah, you can make whoever wants to move their characters can can head on through um, this section. Checking the traps. You can check for traps if you would like. Yes, please. Okay. Can we have Sang like run out along the wall to here? <laughs> uh, for the purposes of right now, I'll say Sang is still unconscious because uh, oh. Michael's not here. Okay. Oh no, guys, Sang's dead. Ah, oh, damn. No, she's just unconscious. But we'll say uh, Rogar, Rogar, and Marion are looking after her at the back. Um, Can so we yeah, have Rogar you, uh, like fly to that thing? That's gold, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Yeah, Reed, you've, you've spied this a little bit. Uh, no actual gold here. Uh, just a little secret. Um, secret I see. Way. That um, is see gold. So yeah, heading down to here, um, you see all oh, this wait. pile of you, you see this pile of gold, and I'll say comparatively to previous hordes that you've been to, obviously you've found your, your fair share of dragon hordes over the years. Probably looks like about twenty thousand gold here if you were to eye it up, which doesn't seem at all like enough. Yeah, mm. I mean twenty k is still twenty k, so yeah, we'll, oh, absolutely, we'll, we'll take it. Yeah, but can but wasn't we still this guy supposed to be like the richest of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I think. Uh, make an investigation check, uh, whoever would like to. Two of you can do it, or one person with advantage. I think we should all do it, or, I, or Daylar. No, Daylar gets advantage on it, so... That's the same either way, so yeah. I know you might as well. 24 uh, is still enough, and you gather that uh, just here, um, beside this... Uh, well, okay, it's not, ping it's not pinging, but uh, there we go. Just here by this um, waterfall of lava. lava fall. Um, yeah, you, you see a uh, hidden, um, hidden door, and popping it open, you follow the route round into a uh, a smaug sized Erebor sized comparison Holy um shit. Jesus horde, horde. okay okay maybe not that much i'll say that's, De Dela, that's ridiculous amounts we keeping this island it's more than like fort knox <laughs> yeah no that's good it, to be fair, it probably isn't anywhere near that much but it is still a a massive room of gold way more than you've seen before the the biggest hoard you found up to date was 50,000 um, I'll say, Dela, make a, a an, an intelligence check to see if you can um, just sort of like eye this up based on previous hordes. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot of money. <laughs> it is. It, it is a lot of money. Eight. Yeah, I'll say you will. You would have to go through and spend some time um, looking. But com seeing as fifty thousand was the biggest horde you've seen so far, it's way more than that. Wow. Okay. Um. In the middle of all of this, all of these piles of gold, you can see like an office has been set up. There's no like walls. There's there's no walls built around this office. It is just like a bunch of bookshelves, ah. a desk, Ooh, a chair. Someone's and, paperwork. Um, right. Wow. Well. <laughs> and, and, and sat at this desk, there is a there is a man in uh, like wizard like robes who gets up as you come over, um, wanders over to you. Um, you can see he sort of looks in his sort of I don't know mid to late forties. Um, dressed in sort of blue blue wizard's robes, full full head of hair. He'll wander over to you and say, uh, hello, uh, who are you? D have you done it? If you're talking about whether or not Hundar is dead, then he is indeed dead. Oh my god. I have been waiting for this day. You guys. And he, like, goes up to all of you and sort of begins, like, touching your faces and, like, just just, just being super weird and, and touchy with you. He's like, Ooh, ah, yes. Hmm, yes. Uh, can we? You, you, you will make fine additions. Hold on. Uh, and he just like runs over to his desk and begins like scribbling down um, words. What? What are you doing? Ah, yes. I should have explained. Um, I am Hundar's, uh, his official scribe, his uh, his his historian, his uh, embellisher, shall we say? I I, uh, I have been recording his entire life, all of his details. Um. He pays me well. I've taken my fair share from this horde, don't get me wrong. Um, so who are you? Tell me, please. I must uh, write down the, the famous names of the people who finally uh, slew him. Well, I'm Tristan Alagondar, King of Neverwinter. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. These are my companions, Reed Fonard, leader of the Blades of Drust. Uh, <laughs> That's not his last name at all. <laughs> I know. Close, <laughs> close enough. Uh, Dela, uh, a drow. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, Scion of House. Oh, Dana, what house are you from again? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. I'm just a drought you. You're just a drought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's from a noble house in the, the Underdog. Mm. I can't remember what it's called, though. 
Uh, Rogar will, will step forward, like with still with Sang in his arms, and be like, "Oh uh, yeah, there's this lady who uh, who actually like did the the final blow." And he like goes up and inspects Sang a little bit. Mm, ah, yes. Mm. Ah, you guys are. He's not uh, uh, is he? He is like a, he is a little bit. It's not like he's not like he's not like caressing her or like going fully in there. Just like <laughs> little fully like. In there. Yeah, he he just he just seems like a weird touchy guy, but not in like a not in like a not in a like in a curious way, rather than a, a sort of. I, I'm not going to say it's not creepy, but like it's not it's Malicious. not sexual assault. Right? Yeah, it's certainly not like that. He just he just genuinely just seemed curious about people in general. Um, and uh, yeah, he'll wander back and say, mm, "Yes, I I'll uh, about Marion. I will. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah she, she's part of, part of the crew. I'll write down all of your uh, all of your all of your likenesses." Um, all of your names. Uh, do, do you guys have a company name? Uh, the Blades, Blades, of, the Blades of Trust. Blades well, of Trust. Mm. We're now the formal owner of this place. Mm. Ah, yes. Mm. Um, like tell me, Trust, what is that? Is that like a, a plant? Uh, no, it was originally an amalgamation of uh, the five original members' names. Uh, mm. uh, yeah, so. uh, tell me, what were their names? Well, Dela. Uh, Rogar, uh, Reed, Wolf Wolfgar, uh, Gar, mm, yes, uh, mm, Justin, mm, yes, wonderful, and, mm, uh, yes, um, well, um, please help yourself to the rest of this horde. My job here is now officially done. I've been here for uh, nearly four hundred years, so this has been uh, uh, how quite, are you quite... still alive. <laughs> he just sort of taps his nose and gives you like a, a cheeky, cheeky grin. And says, mm, "Yes, um, well, um." I have my little yeah. secrets. So, Quickly. are you behind? Are you behind Hundar's ability to come back from the dead? Or mm, no, 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 no. Um, wait, you guys didn't know about that? Well, we've killed him three times now. So, mm, yes. So, uh, Hundar, uh, many, many years ago now. Uh, should we say uh, five, six hundred years ago? And he like checks his checks his notes and says, uh, yes, yeah, seven hundred years ago. Um, Hundar killed a uh, a very powerful mage uh, up in the north somewhere. Um, this mage was carrying on him a very special artifact, uh, an artifact called the On Guild, which uh, allowed a person to resurrect from the dead once per day. Um, Hundar then ate this artifact and consumed its magical energy into his body over the course of uh, 200 years, and then gained that ability uh, innately. Ah. Oh. So well. no. Oh, he's gone and buried now. Well, we got him twice today, so yeah. Yes, well, well, well done for that. Um, congratulations. Um, I will uh, just go and uh, pick up a few things from here, seeing as this is my last day of work here. And um... hang on, before you go, how mm -hmm. much gold is here? Mm hmm. Ah, yes. Mm, I would say uh, six hundred thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I've not actually been through and counted it all myself, but uh, I've I've been around gold. I would that, that's my estimate. Uh, that's not including the uh, whatever he left out there as his uh, his decoy gold. About twenty thousand out there. Yeah. Are there any other magical items around, or any other treasures? There are plenty, and uh, me being a a man of a man of the arcane, I can uh, identify any of these items for oh, you. Wait uh, you'll have to you have to have a good search around. I can't be asked going and finding it for you. Uh, the most important thing is we're looking for a box. Of some coins, a, ma a magical box that mm. contains a, a fragment of a a realm within it. Mm. I know exactly the box. Uh, it's just over there, and he sort of like points over a pile of gold. Uh, Tristan will just go and clamber over to get it. Okay. While Tristan Tristan is clambering. Yeah. Can I ask him about the the, the fiery potion we found? Uh, yes, he will uh, identify it. And I will reveal it in the chat right now. It is an incredibly powerful item. The kind of game-breaking item. Oh. Which maybe I shouldn't have given you, but... <laughs> no, no, but, it's too but, late now. <laughs> but, but as you'll see, it is up to a roll how game-breaking it will be. Um, as, as always. It is called an Ifriti bottle. An Ifriti bottle? Where is this? Uh, in Wondrous Items. Okay. Ifriti bottle. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh okay. Uh... So it, it will be up to a roll as to the uh, full effects of the item. Oh, you but can summon an Ifriti. Yeah, theoretically, oh. you guys could get three wishes, which is insane. Oh, you could get the wish. Oh. Yeah. 
So it's a genie in a bottle, basically. Yeah, but what that genie will do will depend on the roll. <laughs> he may yeah. attack you, which means you probably might not want to do it now necessarily. Yeah. Also, those wishes could be very powerful, so you don't just want to burn them. Yeah. 600,000. 620,000. Yeah, yeah. That solves the bankruptcy issue. <laughs> what, you know, for never winter. <laughs> yeah, never winter. Not, I don't think it quite solves the bankruptcy issue for never winter, but if it's 620,000. It's only like 50 grand. 620,000. No, it's more than 50 grand. So, is it? I think so, yeah. 620,000. So let's say we divide. 124 that. has to go to uh, Luskin. So we take off 124, which means leaves 496,000. Divide that by 6 equals 82.6k. 8,200, 82,666 8, gold each. <laughs> After we take off the Luskin chair. Then whatever items we find. Yep. The four eighty and the divided island. by how many? Well, we have to take off a fifth of six hundred twenty yeah, yeah, k. Off. And then, uh, and then, so which leaves? Well, but, but this is just an estimate though, because he doesn't actually know. But so I'd actually I'd pre-done the maths before, um, just to uh, make things like life a little bit easier for you. Um, yes, is six hundred twenty thousand. Which after giving Jarlaxle one hundred twenty four thousand. Would give you guys four hundred and ninety-six thousand, which divided by six is eight eighty-two thousand six 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 point six. Yeah. Two. So that's, someone, that's someone, got, yeah. someone would get eight, eighty-two thousand six hundred and seven. Um, I don't know if you want to give that to Sang, seeing as she did get nope. final yeah. <laughs> that uh, one I extra mean, gold. Uh, war, re war reparations for Neverwinter. Yeah, and I know. Um, oh God. <laughs> um, to be fair, uh, Merriam will speak up at this point as well and say, um, "I know I didn't take a cut of the previous dragon, um, but." I, I think I deserve a cut of this uh, one. Yes. Um, so Wasn't she already included in the cut? Yeah, we already, cut. we already included her in the cut, right? Yeah, she was yes. one of the uh, six. Technically, in yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she is. But just because in the last dragon, she actually didn't take a cut. No, she didn't. She says, "Um, you've all earned your gold, and what you do with it is is what you want to do with it." And I don't, I'm not disputing that. However, all of this money, I could do a lot of good with it. I could give it to the people that really need it. And again, I'm not trying to judge the rest of you for what you do with your your share, but with my share, I, 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 it, I couldn't just see all this money go to waste when there's so many people that need it. The majority of my share is going to go into Neverwinter's vaults, to be honest. I've got a city to rebuild. D don't, don't worry, you, you guys take your share, do with it as you will. I'm sure saving the world is a, is a, is a very costly experience. Um, I will personally have to pay quite a, quite a sum for summoning that planetar. Um, by the way, that will also require me to spend a lot of time away from you, so I, I don't think I'll be joining you for your um, expedition into the other realms, unfortunately. my I have a debt to pay. But the final fight against the Shadow King, I'm sure Helm would understand that one. Well, yes, of course. I think once once you've all got your um, your vestiges, again, I've already got mine, um, then I'll be, I'll be ready to join you. Yes. Uh, I... having, a, having a look around the, the chamber, we'll say taking the time to search it fully, um, you find you find your box of the Shadow King as well as another mirror of communication. Although obviously, all of the crystals on it are now cracked, so that you, there's no one to communicate with. You've killed all the dragons. Uh, bravo! Oh. I was going to say, uh, Sang has got no one to speak to this time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Um, you do find the the, the the final two books. So you've got your Tome of Clear Thought and the Manual of Bodily Health, which is basically a plus two to Intelligence and a plus two to Constitution. I would take the Constitution one. Yes, and I would say Dela would benefit the most from the intelligence one, but that's just me okay. personally. But again, it's up to you guys as a group who you want to give them to. I mean, if um, you insist, I will take it. I take I'm just, it. you're the only one who really uses intelligence, so it makes sense. Uh, I, I I take const. <laughs> I'm the yeah. only one who really. I mean, normally I'd say Wolfgar, okay. but he's not here. So yeah, my my only co counter to that is if Sang was planning on getting rid of her amulet, then const would be beneficial for her. However, if she's planning on keeping it for the rest of the campaign. Then what's her amulet? It makes her um, constitution score nineteen, which is oh. really big. But if she's getting rid of it, then her constitution would drop massively. So I'd say wait on that one just to check with uh, with Sang. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> okay, going through and revealing the other items that you come across. In fact, you wouldn't actually know where any of these. Well, yeah, sh sorry, you would because. Um, the the mage man well then so personal historian of the red rage himself what what's your name mm, yes uh, my name is malcolm 
Malcolm. Yes, right. I've uh, I've been here many years. Uh, I pop pop in and out. Um, he sh like reveals a uh, a teleportation circle on the ground and says, uh, "I uh, occasionally uh, teleport uh, the kobolds from uh, place to place. Uh, uh, gets them, saves them having to go through all those traps." So you're the one. Where, who's where, where does this teleport go to, though? Oh. Uh, just to uh, the other side of uh, a, a different place in Scatterack. Basically, it, it avoids all the traps and helps us go from one place to the other with uh, relative ease. I see. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Yes, I will be. I will be returning to my position at Candlekeep. Um. Now that this is all done, I will be uh, probably spending the next year writing up. Um, Candlekeep. Everything I can about uh, about Hunda, and uh, I may actually ask for some of your uh, your assistance in not right now, of course, but uh, I may ask you in a few in a, a few months' time to uh, come to Candlekeep and see me, and I'll interrogate you about the uh, the ins and outs of. Your uh, experience with Hunda. I want to make a full account of this dragon's life, amazing as it was. Tell me, Malcolm. Can you um, can you teleport? I can indeed. I can teleport you guys to uh, anywhere you might want to go tonight. Oh, brilliant! Oh. Well, we do need to get back to Waterdeep. Mm, yes. Well, um, t I imagine clearing out all of this gold will take some time. Uh, but uh, come and uh, see me when you're done. Yeah. Okay. okay and uh, yes, he will then identify all of these other items for you. Um, just go through and <clears throat> whether Malcolm, do you uh, do you have ascending spells? Uh, yes, I do. Hmm, interesting. Well, so I can uh, I can message any of you anytime I want. Ah, um, could you do me a uh, a favor with that spending cell? One of those spending cells, then. Spending cell. Uh, <laughs> it depends. I do need to know the person. Ah, oh, you do. Ah, oh, never mind then. That's fine. Um, you know a Barry? <laughs> um, no. Barry doesn't ring a bell. Do you know the Black Staff of Waterdeep? Uh, I only know his reputation. Ah, uh her. Now. Ah, well then I don't know her. Ah, uh, fair. It was. It, it, it used to be a man. Um, I'm sure it's, the position has probably changed uh, since last I was there. Like I say, I'm. I'm. I've been around for a, a good while. Oh, what, what's we talking to him? Can we be um, counting all this stuff up? Well, we're, yeah, we're going yeah, yeah. to get identify these objects. So let's let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Taking me a while. Um, so you find a staff. Uh, staff of striking, which will be in staves. Oh, yeah. uh, Sounds like a monk thing. It does. I don't think Sang will actually use it, but it's an option for her if she wants it. Yeah. Uh, there is the ring. Oh, the... Um... Probably, but he's more of a ranged guy than a, a melee guy, and this is more of a melee staff, like a ring like a quarter staff sort of thing. Ring of spell um, storing. Yeah, the ring of spell storing. Uh, then there's also three homebrew items. Ooh. Uh, so let me reveal those. These are more just sort of like uh, a bit of fun, but uh, feel free to do what you will with them. Um, so there is the circlet of the last cabinary, the spectacles of the intense master. <laughs> Ah, yes, here we go. And there is the Pipe of the Smoking Chieftain. Let's see here. Uh, uh, they're in uh, Homebrew Item, so a different section. Yeah, so I'll give you some time to read through those. Uh, two of those items are non-attunement as well, which is Ooh. is nice. I tried to do that specifically because I know you guys are running out of attunement slots. Um, but they do sort of require like a, a little mini attunement, if you will. Yeah. Oh, can I get the spectacles? You can. I was thinking those for Daylight instead of his goggles, but um, you oh, absolutely can. Uh, well, I, I'd probably keep the goggles. <laughs> Fair enough, and then you absolutely have the spectacles breed. The circular looks pretty cool, but I'm uh, out of attunement slots, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the circular was the only one that was. Um, but yeah, you can sell some of these items when you get back if any any, any that you um, don't really want. I, I would like to keep hold of anything that does. no one works. Water, uh, Neverwinter is kind of Quite heavily in debt, so <laughs> I want the pipe as well. I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> this is incredible. This is like all of this is what Reed's been wanting for years. There you go. Uh, yes, I, I did think the pipe would be good for you, Reed. Um, the manual of bodily health has now been revealed, and also the tome of clear thought, which is basically those those two items I mentioned before. So again, you'll have to spend some days if you want to get those stats. 
What's the circlet? Uh, that that is attunement, and probably wouldn't be any good for you. Like yeah, your, I, I, uh, I'd like to sell whatever we don't want to attune to, if that's okay with you guys. I, Neverwinter's in significant debt, and the dragons have, like, fucked it pretty badly. And also, I realized that, you know, the blue dragon sword. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. I'm happy for you, for you just to have the circlet and the staff. But, like, going forward, if, we, if there is some big items, if we can split it. Split oh yeah, no, no, that's fine. I'm just asking at the minute because I've got a lot. Of, I need to keep Neverwinter afloat. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. If you want, if you want to split the items you've got, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six. The seven items. Um, Marion and Rogar aren't going to want any of them. Um, Where are so the that's... other four apart from the three homebrew ones? Uh, they would be in the magic items section. Um, so one would be in the staffs, one would be in the rings, and the other two would just be in the regular wondrous items section. Yeah, the ring of uh, spell story. What were the yeah. two wondrous items called? Uh, the Tome of Clear Thought and the Manual of Bodily Health. So basically, oh, the, okay. plus, the, the plus two to investigation. No, yeah, the plus two to intelligence, intelligence and, and the plus two to constitution. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, we yeah, want to well, keep those. We're using them. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'll absolutely want to use those. Oh, yeah, um, no, I'm just talking about items that we don't use. We, we yeah. don't want. Well, like the staff and the ring, you could probably sell. The circlet, you can probably sell. It's only the spectacles and the pipe that you probably want to keep. Um, I want those. No, no, yeah. No. Again, I, I think that certainly the pipe would be good for you, Reed. Um, so the talk. ring of spell storing, what's it actually good for? I'm reading it now. I don't really get it. You store um, five levels worth of spells. Basically, it can okay. yeah. So it can store an extra fifth level spell slot for you, but which is not. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, As the, the say, it, it, yeah. Could you do like five level one spells? Uh, like, you could. Yeah, that, that's how it sounds like from the description, like five levels worth. Yeah, so I would say you could do five level ones or just one fifth level, one fifth level. Basically, that much power is in it. So you could cast either a fifth level spell slot or a fourth and a one or a three and a two, like whatever. Either way, I think it's good, but it's not quite worth attuning to. Yeah, I agree. It's not that if it was like eighth level. Yeah, I'd yeah, probably keep it. <laughs> But uh, it's only, yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, I, I agree. Again, this is this isn't an item I've made. It's one in the... um, but hey, it's something to sell. To be fair, else. I don't even know. My attunement items are the flying boots. Oh, the mantle of spell resistant and the blessed scout. So I'm okay. I don't need it. You can sell that if you want, Tristan. Thanks. No, I know I appreciate it because uh, you know I. Yeah, I've got a short force makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dela, do you want any other, uh, like, apart from the, the, the pipe and the glasses? I mean, I the only thing I really need... care about is the uh, intelligence book. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, we'll say you definitely get that. And to be fair, I think I think Sang is going to stick with the the amulet that she has, so we'll say Tristan for now, you can have the constitution one. I think it makes the most sense for you yeah. to have it, of the of the four of you. If, if Ulfgar was here, that'd be a different one. Yeah, but that'll bump, that'll, bump, as... that'll bump me up to 18 cons, so. Massive. Yeah. So I've got it as Tristan's going to get um, for donation, the Staff of Striking, Ring of Spells, and cir Circlet of the Last Cabernary. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, basically all the three items you guys I know, uh, I, I, I are choosing to sell. I appreciate that, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, I don't remember how much in debt Neverwinter is, but it's quite a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I never actually gave you any specifics. Oh, um, I, will, I, guess. I think with with the money you're bringing back right now, you'd certainly be able to pay, pay off for most of it. Oh, that's good. Depends depends quite how much you want to spend and not spend. I mean, it's probably good to keep some money for yourself just for like potions. Oh and no, yeah, no, potential magic items down down the road because uh, you've still got a magic items man to visit at some point and you imagine his prices will be quite high. <laughs> just, just, he is, but like you know, he needs to talk to Mordai about Neverwinter's. Yeah, oh, yeah, wait, sorry. How much gold did we all get? I didn't add it. Uh, so, so each of you would get 82,666.666 recurring. But I guess wh whoever wants to get the seven can get it. Make sure you add it for Sang as well, uh, Dela. So 82,666. Yeah. I've actually got a few. I was going to wait till we get back to Neverwinter, but I might just ask Tristan now. Mm -hmm. If we're counting gold. I can say, because, uh, like, you know, we did a lot for uh everwinter and uh you know all that shit 
can like the blades of trust be awarded the cloak tower as its base of operations well, when you say ba base of operations oh. to do what <laughs> um well one and also to have a a place on the council at uh, neverwinter i mean uh, but uh... It, would, it would be basically to like start a like a business in in neverwinter if I'm being fully transparent with you, it'd also be to mine the gems below. Uh huh. Um. Well, we'd have to work out a specific trade deal because if you're mining the gems, I the city needs a cut. Okay. Which I think is fair. Uh, considering it is our natural resources. Yeah, it is in the city. So. It's in the city. <laughs> yeah. So. What fifteen percent? We'll talk about it. I need to talk to Mordai about the. The ins and outs of the Neverwinter Treasury at the minute, but we can talk about yeah, sure, it. The, bla the Blades of Just will be able to get, make money for the city in other ways as well, through maritime trade as well. Yeah, I mean, I have no issue with the Blades having a, 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 a setup in the Cloak Tower. No one's going to be using it. No one wants to use it. I will say, the Cloak Tower itself, like, if you want to set it up as a base of operations, money will be required to repair the tower. Obviously, it was yeah, in, it was in complete disuse when you, you came across it. That's right. Um Okay, it depends if that you want that money to come from the city or if you're going to pay for it yourself. <laughs> That's the thing. If we get a, a smaller cut, place just will happily refurbish it and make it like re like regain its honor as being in the city. Or we could like declare it a historical monument and charge people to see it. <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> then we don't have to do anything. Well, tall guy Dayla for the rest of the life. <laughs> I'll uh, found the national trust. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll consider your. Uh... The request and have a chat with the council when we get back to Neverwinter. Okay. Sounds good. Um, so yeah, that is all of the loot. Um, you've got the the fire shards, the Afriti bottle, um, all of these books and staffs and all of, yeah, you've got loads and also a good amount of money. Um, I'll say you can come, you can go and pick up the uh, the dragon's egg. To be fair, Reed, you probably wouldn't actually be able to physically pick it up. Um, Tristan, well, you'd, be the, you'd be the only one who could pick it up on their own. Well, what are we going to do with it? Can we ask the scholar? The meantime, like, yeah, can we ask Malcolm about the, about the, the dragon? Yeah, he just says, hmm, uh, yes, hmm. Well, uh, I don't really know what to do with it, so uh, you guys uh, take it. If, ah. you don't, if, 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 if you don't know what to do with it, leave it here. I mean, uh, from what I do know, I think in order to be uh, alive, or basically fire dragon's eggs need to be breathed fire on uh, every so often i think there was a uh like a, a timer on it and so fire was was breathed on it every hour or so um it's to like incubate it um so taking it off may make whatever's inside die but it's it's whatever um, basically f find somewhere warm for it if you want to keep it alive ah uh, we just leave it here for now fire, like, dragon, yeah, fire dragons are inherently evil right Oh. Uh, yes, they are inherently, oh. but there has there have been occasions where uh, people of uh, inherently evil races have been not evil, and he would just like gestures to Dela. I can see. I assume you're not uh, an evil drow. Take out my knife. <laughs> <laughs> he just sort of like Wanna very. Find out? <laughs> <laughs> he very like stage acting way, sort of like backs away and goes, "Oh, ah, don't stab me." <laughs> I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> yeah. Roll to stab. Yeah, in like an acting way. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, in a very drama yeah. student way. He's like, ah, oh, no. All right. Well, <laughs> let's leave the egg here for now, then, shall we? Mm. Uh, is there any way I can reclaim spells right now? A long rest is the only way. I'm well, sure. I think we should probably get back to water deep, then never winter, and uh, get this done. Uh, yeah, Malcolm will say, oh, do you guys uh, want a lift? I can uh, take you wherever you're going. Uh, yes, please. Uh, Waterdeep would be excellent. Waterdeep? Hmm, yes. Um, okay, you ready You ready now? I look around, um, I think we've done everything. Yeah, we'll, we'll say you look around at this massive, now empty hall, because you've shoved all the gold in your bags of holding. Um, <laughs> Is there any way we can disable the, the portal for the time being? Well, I think... uh, I, I'm the only one who uh, knows how to access this portal. The, 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 the kobolds won't be going back. And... I, I think know, the, like... the death of Hundar, the kobolds will probably scatter sooner rather than later. Where well, are they going to go, though? <laughs> yeah, they're on an island. They've got boats. And there's traps everywhere. Okay. Well, there's traps the way that they wouldn't go. Yeah, so they're not getting in here. Where would they go? Well, most of them are just like the outer defences, and then there's the traps as the inner defences, and then there's Hundar. 
yes. Okay. How come we have to like find a different way into the island then? I thought there was like traps in the water and everything. Oh, well, there might have been, but um, I mean, the reason you didn't go in the front door was because there was two thousand kobolds there. Yeah. <laughs> so you went behind uh, all of you went yeah. behind all all of the army. Yeah. Well, uh, way. yeah, we'll be fine. Let's head back to Waterdeep. Okay. <clears throat> we do. For the record, there is unfinished business here. I will be back, and I will. Be back. <laughs> yeah. I actually will be. I swear to God. Slow <laughs> down. All right. Well. Uh, where's water? Can I just put a little shitty flag like, in like the middle of here? Uh, unfortunately, you don't have a flag unless if you'd said to me earlier, I make a flag. Then flag <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> I'll just uh... draw on the wall. Oh, you yeah, should, you should have brought. You should, we should definitely do that. You should have kept that really badly made Alagonda banner. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's let's use the Euphrates bottle. Pray that we get the wishes and then wish, <laughs> wish, wish for three, three flags. <laughs> Ah, uh, back in Waterdeep, holy shit, it feels like it's been a years. Alright, right. well, um, I guess Scott. we're in the castle? Um, you, well, um, Malcolm probably wouldn't have teleported you straight to the castle. He would have teleported you to, like, just outside the city, probably, and said, uh, Alright then, uh, uh, this is you, um, I'll be in Candlekeep if you ever need me for anything, I am a dragon expert. Um, I'll be messaging you in the next, uh, few months. Alright, thank you. Farewell. He will just teleport away. All right. Well, I guess we better make our way to the castle then. Um, you make your way to the castle. It is probably like evening slash nightfall by the time you get there. Ah, oh, yeah, but um, this is important. So. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, you wander on in. Um, make your way to. Uh, Blackstaff. To, to the Blackstaff's yes. office. Okay. Yeah, you go to the Blackstaff's office. She will open the door. Ah, you you did it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just hold out the box of the Shadow King. Red Rage is dead. She will uh, cast the spell magic on it at ninth level and uh, pop it open and say, Phew, thank goodness, it's here. Well, um, I suppose we have all the pieces now. We're ready to put them together whenever you're ready. Yes, we need to get some vestiges. Yes, for now, we'll I'll, I'll keep them all here. Um, it does seem a little dangerous, but... I suppose that's what we have. We have, entire, we have no other choice. This entire situation is dangerous. Yes, um, just try not to dilly dally too long with no. your uh, your your vestige business. Um, no. We don't know. Now that all the pieces are in one place, it only takes one good thief to steal them all. And indeed. Everyone uh, looks at me. <laughs> uh, I was thinking more agents of the Shadow King. Um, uh, if they ever if they ever got wind of this. I better keep it quiet we, then. Uh, I need. We keep it honest then, just to be safe. I wouldn't. Yeah, you could keep the last piece if you if you if you wish, just to just to keep them separate. I think it's a sensible approach. Yeah, the Black Sabbath will say I, I trust you all. All right. Yeah, we'll keep it with us. Okay. Then. Yeah, stops any any one person from potentially accessing the pocket dimension. Yeah. Um, Can I ask a question. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Tending spells. Between different planes of existence, how would that work, my dear friend Blackstaff? Um, so it's a, a little more difficult. Um, to put it into basic terms, it requires a fifth level slot instead of a third, and you must be holding a piece of the plane with which you're trying to contact. I see. What if For I'm trying to contact this plane? Well, if you were already on it, then that's fine. If you were trying to contact it from another plane, then... Yeah. Uh, I imagine just just touching your robes would would, would suffice because they are if they are native to this plane of existence. They were made here, and uh, so yes, any anything you have on you now should should should, should suffice for contacting this plane. Okay. Yes. Uh, for example, we tried to contact Elia after she disappeared, even with a piece of the shadow fell. There was no answer. Mm. But uh, contact between the planes can be disruptive sometimes. There may be something on her end blocking it. We, we, not, we don't know if she's alive or not yet. Hmm. Yes. Well, uh, is the uh, the Open Lord still awake? At uh, this time, she'll probably be asleep, but I can pass on any messages you have. Uh, uh, you know, well, we've got everything. I just need to know about any last details about this council we're going to be having. 
Ah, yes. Um, we did send word ahead to Neverwinter to uh, inform you when you arrived. But uh, it will take place on the 10th of Alturiak, which is essentially February. Okay. Um, for the reference, it's the evening of the 27th of January right now. So you've got like just over 10 days. You've got what, 12 days, pretty much. Okay. 12 days. Sure. That's yeah, fine. So plenty, plenty of time to go uh, investigate some planes of existence. Mm hmm. Yes, the 10th of uh, Alturiac is the uh, requested date when everyone will be meeting in Waterdeep to discuss plans for this uh, Shadow King in returning. Yep. Can I ask the Black Staff another question? You can indeed. Potions. Are you the person to speak to about potion making? Not really. My business is uh, a little above that sort of station. Um, there are plenty of good potion shops in, in town that will be able to uh, give you whatever you need. Do you know any experts in potion making? Highest grade? Um, I mean, there are good potions makers everywhere. I wouldn't say there's any particular um, individual. I need a special kind of guy. What do you need? I'm going to look to the others. I'm going to look back. I, I um, just shrugged my shoulder. I'm like, I don't know what he's going on about. <laughs> I was like... Never mind. What? <laughs> what? Well, uh, I would inquire at an actual potions making shop. Potions have never really been my my area of expertise. Right. Uh, I need to get back to Neverwinter. Is Barry still around? He is. Uh, I mean, is it is it particularly urgent? Could it not wait a night? I mean, as urgent as uh, I can wait, I suppose. <laughs> yes. I just poor Barry. He works so hard. I don't want to wake him in the night. No, that's fair enough. Um. Well, considering it's night now, rather than head back to the tavern, is there any spare like visitor chambers I could use? <laughs> uh, yes, we can find quarters for you here. That'd be appreciated. Uh, thank you. She will uh, send for some uh, some some servants who will uh, find rooms for you for the night, and everybody beds down, including an unconscious Sang. Everyone, smack that long rest button. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Totally. Oh yeah. You, you can just click long rest now. How lovely! Yeah. But make make sure to add on your charges. One yeah, at a time. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, yeah. So, who's got the shard? Is it me? It's in the bag uh, yeah, of holding. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll say it's in your bag, bag of holding. We'll say you've got it. Alright. Can I hide it? On your person? Under my mattress. Well, this is just a temporary room you're staying in at the moment. Um, uh, do Rogar's sorcery points reset every day? Uh, yeah, you get some all back. Yeah. yeah. You probably want to keep the shard on you, but I'll keep it. Does Sang get all her key points back? She does. Yes. Damn, there, goes, not... our, there goes our last chance to kill her. Fuck. Yeah, I think maybe at the end of the campaign I might get a chance, but even then it's only a chance. <laughs> oh, I've just realised how much money Rogar has, by the way, because uh, he. <laughs> well, yeah, he doesn't spend money, but he makes money. <laughs> like so, Rogar, right? Rogar had eight thousand five hundred forty-three. Plus, what was it wow. again? 82666. 82666. Six, six. <laughs> Rogar's currently got 91.2k gold. Nice. Rogar's fucking balling, man. Like, holy shit. Yeah. He's over, his total weight, if we took the gold as like a thing, is currently... Well, <laughs> yeah, he's overcarrying capacity by quite a lot. <laughs> uh, but yes, the next day, the next day dawns. Uh, is there anything you want to do in Waterdeep before you leave, you can? Yes. Um, oh, uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, you can go if you want. Uh, I wanted to talk to the Black Star, uh, to the the Open Lord about. Oh, what's his name? You know the Lord who proposed to me. Hector Margasta. Hector Margasta, yeah. Because mm -hmm. he's a water deep nobility, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he is a water deep OG. I want to talk to her about him. Okay. Um, Reed, what did you want to do? Uh, firstly, I'd like to speak to Fergus. Okay, so yeah, so we'll say while you're heading back to the, the tavern then, because it's on like the other side of the sea, um, we'll do yours first, Tristan. Sure. Um, can I start doing the book? You can start I'll reading your book. I'm doing that. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I would want to do that as well. Yeah. Well, you're not doing it right now because you're talking no. to the Open Lord. Um, you go and see her. She says, uh, yes, uh, King Tristan, how might I help? Uh, Lady Lyral, um, I, I've just been, I've been approached by Hector Mardgaster, and I'd rather like your opinion on it. Um, hmm. He's... Hector is, um, 
well, he's very business orient orientated, as many of the nobles are. Um, he seems just seems like a regular nobleman, I suppose. One of the powerful ones, of course. So he is very keeps things tight to the chest. I don't know too much about him. Mm. Um, any specific questions you ask? Well, he offered his daughter's hand to me in marriage. You see. <laughs> yes, that does seem like him. Uh, considering. Um, She's just gotten out of effectively a forced relationship. Uh, I was rather reluctant to agree <laughs> or disagree. Yes. Um, that's one thing I need to deal with when I get back to Neverwinter, actually. I need to go talk to the, the poor girl. Um, well, for me personally, of course, I would say the choice should be between you and her. And if yes. the two of you like each other's company, then that would be that. Um, of course, it will benefit Hector greatly to have his daughter become a queen. Queen, yeah. Um, yes, I'm just trying to figure out his line of is it is the is the the prospect of having his blood on the throne worth the amount of money he'd have to invest in neverwinter hector is um the second most powerful nobleman in waterdeep he is yes he is incredibly powerful um just in terms of the influence that he has because of his wealth his how much gold did you uh find in hundar's hoard by the way well, um... Just to give you an idea of how wealthy Hector is. Hundar's hoard totally came to around 600,020. Six hmm, okay. He probably doesn't have that much, but he probably has at least half that. <sighs> and that's just me guessing, of course, but Hector is a very wealthy nobleman. He comes from a long line of wealthy noblemen. And they just keep building up their money as the years go by. So what you'd say, be saying is that it would be an advantageous uh, alliance for Neverwinter. If you could get the assurances that you need from Hector that he would pay a substantial amount towards your cause, then absolutely, yes. Mm. Oh, I'd rather talk to his daughter first rather than agreeing to anything. It doesn't sit quite right with me for her to be forced into another... Well, of course I agree. Um, you, should, you should certainly not force her into anything. No, um, I... Yes, yes. The poor, the poor girl must have been through enough. I don't think Torm would quite like that. <laughs> well, uh, forget what Torm thinks. What do you think? I don't know. Obviously, there's this business with uh, Elia. But yes. I'd rather have wrapped up. I mean, I've accepted the fact that uh, we are completely on different paths, but it's uh, still kind of, you know, it doesn't feel quite right, you know, just to jump from something into another thing. Yes. Of course. This, as this is on a personal level between two monarchs, of course. Not. Uh, mm hmm. Not a diplomatic conversation. <laughs> no, no. I understand. Um, no. I'm just thinking, you know. <laughs> well, as for this Hector man, um, don't trust him. But also, he he's never done anything to make me think that he might be evil. Or yeah, there's no foulness. It, yes, yes. Just, uh, just a noble. <laughs> just mm. a very, very, very powerful noble. No, that's understandable. No, it's good to know. I didn't really know much about House Margaster before, except for the fact that Emmerich wanted Iron Adne, so... Uh, Emmerich, oh, Emmerich, by the way, no longer a problem. Dealt with. Gone. Killed him? Killed him? Mm. Killed in battle. Yeah. I, uh, you know... Make it, make a deception check. Yeah, just carry on. Yeah. Uh, yeah he, I'm a big fan of second chances and he wanted to use his blade in defense of my city so and he did i'm mm. not i'm not one to deny a man a, a chance at redemption god knows tom knows yes. that i had one well at least he died fighting for something good yeah that's the point so yeah no thank you thank you lady lyral i appreciate the advice as always mm -hmm. it's good to know that uh <laughs> even on a personal level uh never went to uh, can rely on uh, Waterdeep. <laughs> of course. And I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, of assume course, yes. you've been told about the council. Ten days. Yes, well, twelve days. Twelve days, more or less, yes. Well, hopefully I'm not lost in the abyss by that point, but as you know, my regent will stand in for me, if not. Yes. But very well, thank you. Going over to uh, Reed, you Wait, return... Just, uh, just when mm -hmm. I was walking back, could I have asked Rogar to come with me? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll say Rogar goes with you. I think the walk home would be nice. I, I think so too. It's been a while since we've had some personal time, you know? So, Rogar, you know what Aha said in that cave about I want to, like, take over Skadarak Island? But you know how you're, like, a wealthy uh, lord in Draconia? Well, I wouldn't say wealthy. 
Oh lord, really? You're wealthy, mate. <laughs> well, I'm I'm I'm, I'm wealthy because I've just got loads of like money from the dragon. But like, yeah. um, yeah, sure, uh, carry on. How many soldiers would you be able to uh, lend me for like, it's like a month, or like indefinite? Well, I mean, like I said before, my uh, my diplomatic talk in Draconia didn't exactly go very well. Um, people don't necessarily want to listen to me. I mean, with the money we've got, we could just hire like a fuck ton of mercenaries. Um, yeah, but they're expensive, aren't they? Well, yeah, but like, I'd say that you've got a better shout of doing that than like getting my army from Draconia because they they don't want to listen to me at least right now. <laughs> and to be honest, I don't really feel like going back there. Um, I was just going to stick with you guys and like do the planes of existence and stuff because like, I need to get my my gear as well. Yeah, no, I was going to say, um, basically, you know that Captain Aramaeus guy? Yeah, yeah. He's, in, he's heading to Draconia, I'm pretty sure, or around there, sort of that neck of the woods. Hmm. I was wondering, could he pick up some of your soldiers and drop them off at uh, Skadarak Island? And they can keep the peace for the time being. Well, there's like loads of kobolds there. I don't think a few soldiers is going to be enough. I could deal with the kobolds. Um... I mean, if you if you're gonna go with them and deal with and you think you can deal with them, then nah. To be fair, I still think Draconians they're not they've got enough going on. They don't need to be getting involved in other shit. But I, I'd I'd happily like put my money towards like hiring some some mercenaries for you. Read. Yeah, I, I mean, mean we, that Mintown think... place was full was full of mercenaries, and they're like right next door, so they don't need to travel far. They're already there, pretty. Much. That's a good point. How much do you reckon a hundred mercenaries would be? Um, I don't know. Hundred gold? A hundred gold? I don't know. Oh. This is this is to be clear. This is Rogar spitballing. This is not how how much it would actually cost. <laughs> <laughs> this do be kind of a Rogar moment. <laughs> yeah. So role playing well. If you're asking Rogar, this is what he would say. Not the, not the correct answer, but. <laughs> Yeah, good to know. No, it was just, it was more your your soldiers. Uh, I was wondering whether we could use them, but if we can't, then no worries. Yeah, no, I've, I'm definitely not on good terms for for that. Yeah, no worries. All right, well, I mean, can we head into the, the pub now? Yeah, we'll say at this point you arrive back at the uh, back at the tavern. Uh, you head, in, head inside the, the main tavern or the workshop next door? I'm going to head into the, the workshop first. Okay, uh, you head on in. Uh, you can see uh, Fauna and um, and Fergus working away. Are they um, closer to each other, or are they further apart? Um, I mean, there's they are on different sides of the room, but they're not like they're not like <laughs> corner to corner. Um, and yeah. like as you wander in, they both turn and smile. Um, are we like friends, family? I'm back. Uh, re uh, Fauna will just run over and give you a big hug. Uh, Fergus will just give you a nod. Well, is that all I get? What do What do you want? Just like a, a high five. I always forget he's Russian. Uh, sure. <laughs> I give I give you a high five. And he goes over and gives you a high five. Uh, <laughs> Fauna's right. like, Reed, how's it going? What What are, What have you been up to? It's all right. Funny enough, I spent a. Uh, Mate, I used all my health potions killing a dragon. So, um, I have made you a health potion. She, like, pulls, pulls forward a regular health potion. She says, I've also been working on a superior health potion because I thought those would be more useful. Um, they have also proved to be quite difficult to make. However, I am this close to making it. Just the one? Yeah, yeah, just the one. Nice one. Fergus nice will say... Anyway. Uh, I have uh, I have one more flying potion for you. It's only been a week since you've been here, by the way. And he will hand you a, a flying potion. So yeah. Also, uh, after you pay me for this month, uh, I may not be allowed to be around here too much. My uh, studies at the academy are getting quite uh, extensive, and uh, I just don't really have the time, unfortunately. Oh, I can no. still I can still come like a little bit, but uh, not as much as I have. So you'll have to pay me less, uh, but I won't be able to make. And you get one of your friends to come here. Uh, I could potentially anybody. see about uh, anybody else uh, coming here. Yes, but yeah, I, don't, I don't mind paying extra if, um, if like, if, if it helps get the production going. I don't mind just getting a few of you guys in here, like maybe three or four. 
I need, I need loads of flying potions. I need health potions. Look at Fauna again. <clears throat> She'll say, you may need to hire some uh, someone from not the alchemist guild, then. Perhaps the herbalist guild, if you want more health, health potions. Yeah, I mean, if you could get... I'll give Fauna the money to get someone from the herbalist. Mm -hmm. Be like, can you just get someone to start making potions? You know, sure. two people. Just get two people. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and find someone. And, and uh, Fer 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 Fergus will um, say to Fauna, we met those uh, those guys the other night. Uh, they were in, they were herbalists as well. We could potentially ask them. She's like, yeah, good idea, Fergus. Yeah. They're talking now. Incredible. They weren't talking last time I was here. No, they weren't. Things are getting things are changing around here. I'm gonna look unsure about that. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking now. What's going on here? Yeah, and like just yeah. from that like bait general rapport, it's not like they're dating or anything like that, but they seem to be getting on pretty well. Just instantly right. fire Fergus. <laughs> <laughs> How much gold would it be to get um uh two herbalists and two two uh um uh alchemists? I suppose it depends on how much you're demanding that they make, how much um, time they need to put in. Um, as like, I don't know, like, as literally as fast as possible. We need health potions and we need like uh, flying potions, like preferably like three a day. Three a day is impossible. Things they do, they, they 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 physically take like several days usually to brew. Um, what about one a day. Even one a day is is not doable. It's like it's, it's physically not doable. They take too long to make. Okay. One every two days. Also not doable. We're talking more like one a week is 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 about as fast as you can. Well, crank even, them out. we did one a week last time, but that was with one person. Yeah. Only three people. That's one. If we do one a week per person. Yeah, yeah. My point is that those three people would still only be able to do one per week each. Fair play. All right then. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do um, three flying, po three fly potions and three superiors. Okay, you are currently paying Fergus three hundred gold a month. So if you wanted to hire essentially three of him, that's nine hundred gold a month. Um, herbalists may be slightly cheaper, but probably not too much. All right then. We'll re we'll recruit five herbalists. Okay, I'll uh, I'll let you keep uh, tabs yeah, on all of this. Yeah, I'll let you write it all down. <clears throat> and then, yeah, times three alchemists, times five herbalists, because we're going to need health potions, and it's cheaper for us to just manufacture them, I reckon. Yeah, I was going to say you uh, you you owe for this month eight hundred gold to uh, this is to, this is between everybody, so you know, um, the, the ships, the farm, the tavern, Fergus, Zardin, the bouncers, everybody. Oh, do we have we done a? Can we do a check of profits and stuff like that? Uh, yes, yeah, so you can roll uh, two d hundreds for me. So five herbalists would be a thousand a month. Yes. All right. You'd essentially be setting up a a herbalist business at that point. Like five herbalists is quite a lot. Yeah, I mean we need as many as possible. I just thought I did last time I priced it. I I thought it's just by the time the the like. Samula and all that comes. We'll just have made literally like one potion. We don't have enough time. <laughs> so we might as well just get as many as going as possible. Yeah. Um, the D D hundred, yeah? Uh yes, D Two D hundreds. Two yeah. Oh. I'll do that again. That's two D hundred. No no that, that 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 that's good. Um I mean you haven't rolled particularly well, so I don't think you're gonna make much profit. Okay, so 46 is your break even, and 18. I'll say you lose 50 gold. <laughs> okay. So businesses oh, haven't been going well particularly this this week, but that's not including like Ferguson's um, fauna who have made potions for you, which you can sell and do whatever you want with. Um, yeah. So how much do I owe them? 800 gold. It's 800 for the lot. That's just across all all things you need to pay people for. Okay. So I'd take that out of the uh, the Blades of Drust uh, phones. Okay. And actually, it's 850 because you lost some money. <laughs> yep. It's not been a good month. 
Well, it's, it's, that, was only, that was only one week, actually. The previous two weeks had been very profitable. But this last week, not so much. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but then you've, you've paid them for the month, essentially. That, that you... Okay. Can I, well, can I, like, finish up with them and head to the pub? Yeah, easy enough to do. All right. I'm going to be like, where's, uh, where's the captain? Uh, well, it's the middle of the day. Captain Zardin's, he's, he's sleeping. He's a drow. He does the night shift. He does, doesn't he? All right. I'm going to head up to my room and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to send him, I'm going to start, I'm going to send a message to Captain Aramaeus. Okay. I'm going to be like, um, Captain, what's, where are you currently? How are you getting on with the cannons? Um, where, whereabouts are you? And how's Emery? Uh, Captain Aramis will respond and say, Good to hear you, Reed. Um, we're actually just in Waterdeep right now, uh, restocking our supplies for the, for the journey. We haven't made it particularly far since we last spoke. Emmerich be doing fine. We've picked up his loot. Oh shit, they haven't even gone. Um, well, they've made their way down to Waterdeep. They've then spent a day picking up supplies. You guys haven't been gone that long at all. Yeah. There you guys go. just teleported to... Yeah, you did it so rapidly. Place, he, and then he the next day went <laughs> to yeah. kill the dragon. It's been three days <laughs> since last you spoke to him, so he's not got crazy Is there any way we can buy cannons in Waterdeep? Uh, no. Like I said before, it's the Nalantha Isles is the only place they really exist. And even then, they're sort of a, a well, well-kept secret. Very well. Okay. I got a, got a task. Um, how many cannons do we have? We literally don't have any, do we? Well, you had four, but those four were left in Neverwind. Oh, to really? like, yeah, because you were trying to like re re-engine them or whatever the word would be to like make them in Neverwinter by studying them. Yeah, I'll just crack on as usual then. Head down and get the cannons, and then um, and then yeah, I won't send him a message. He's just. That's his yeah, plan, yeah. Then, right? That's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm going to send a message to Pelaf. Mm hmm. I'll say, Pelaf, I have a. I need your help. I have a proposition. Um, we have slain Hundar. Hurrah! We have now claimed Skadarak Island as property of the Blades of Trust. However, we have no way of securing it. As there are, I'll just keep churning out spell slots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as we, um, as there are a thousand kobolds on the island. Um, also, there is a dragon egg on the island. We do not know what to do with the dragon egg, so I am proposing that you look after the dragon egg, and when the egg hatches, you raise the dragon to be a good dragon. Um, however, in the meantime. We have no way of securing the island. So I was wondering for one month whether you could make this your temporary residence, look after the island, and um, and maybe convince the kobolds that this is the property of Blaze of Trust and, and either they le convince them to leave or or to stay and just like not cause any trouble for the Blaze of Trust. Whichever, but essentially just look after the island for the next month. I'm not asking much. Does that sound? Um, Pelath will eventually respond. Say, I have no interest in looking after Hundar's place. This egg, on the other hand, I will look after if I must. I would rather you find someone else to do both of these tasks, but the egg at least I can do if you need. Um... So when you say look after, does that mean you're going to stay on the island and look after it, or are you going to take it away and look after it? I am Is very it? happy where I am. I do not wish to leave my current island, and I will not be leaving it for you. You would have to bring this to me, if anything. Could you not just pick up the egg? Could you just go to the island and pick it up? I don't know how to, I don't know how to get it to you. It's massive. This is not my problem. It is not my concern. I will not be flying to this island. I'll have a think about it for the time being. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll say uh, business plan. done. Business done in Waterdeep. Yep, I'd like to go back to Neverwinter, please. Yes. Uh, is everybody going back to Neverwinter? 
think mm, so. I guess it makes sense to stay together if we're yeah, going to go yeah. to the... We'll keep, we'll uh, keep everyone planes. together. Um, Marion is going... She's still with you at this point as well, so she will... Um, she'll go with you as well. Hey, we're back. Right. Who's that in the port? Returning to Neverwinter. What is your first, first point of call? In fact, before... Um, as soon, basically, as soon as you get in, um, Marion will turn to Barry and say, uh, Barry, could you please teleport me to Silvery Moon, please? Um, there is a temple there called the House, House Invincible, and uh, I need to go there and pay my respects. Barry will be like, oh, okay. I'll just, she will just say, she uh, goes. Yeah, she will say farewell, Blades of Trust. Um, thank you for everything you've done for the Sword Coast. I truly believe that no other company could have slain Hunda. Uh, well done. I will see you whenever you have finished your task of collecting these vestiges. Thank you, Marion. Tom's blessings with you. Helms to yours. And she will, um, yeah. But that's a little bit of like, rivalry as they say that. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Helms better. Well, yeah. well, they're literally best bros, so. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're part of the same um, trend of yeah. gods. Yeah, uh, well, Castle Never. Mm -hmm. uh, throne room for me. Cool. Uh, heading on into the throne room. Um, Arlon is there at the moment. Mordai is there. Um, we'll say Murphy's there as well, but everyone else is probably off just uh, doing business. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll enter through the throne room and I'll be like, Gentlemen, the Red Rage is dead. Uh, your grace. Um, Arlon will say, Well, at least you can uh, clean up your mess. He's dead. I'll, uh, I'll plonk down a big sack of money in front of Mordai as well. <laughs> uh, we're going to put down, let's say... 60,000 gold. What I will say. That is uh, generous, Your Grace. Uh, be more than enough to pay off Neverwinter's debts, and this money can be put towards any uh, any projects that you wish to fund within the city. Brilliant. That's what we want to hear. Um, so. You originally said you wanted this money to go to the, the River District first. Is that still your plan? Uh, yes, the River District suffered the most. Therefore, it requires I'll, the most investment. I will make sure the money uh, goes towards that rebuilding. Excellent. Yes, the people supported us first there, and they should be rewarded so. So, what have I missed? Well, uh, we received a message uh, about a council. Uh, yes, the Lord's Alliance is summoning a massive council in 12 days. Ah, you've uh, already heard then. Ah, yes, we've just popped back. To, we've just been to Waterdeep. We've just come from there. Hmm. Um, um, Mordai will say... Uh, a man did come by, um, a Sir Alistar. Ah, yes. Is he still here? Uh, yes, he is staying within the castle. I can uh, summon him to you uh, at need, if you Thank wish. You. Yes, I'd like to talk to him as soon as possible, please. Uh, yes, I'll leave right away. Um... As uh, Mordai uh, heads off, um, Arlen will say, So, how uh, how difficult was this, dragon? As tough as they say? Uh, yes, so, uh, we found out that he, you know, you kill him once, and then he comes back, and then you have to kill him again. <laughs> uh, uh, so, it was tough, uh, Sang nearly died, um, most of us nearly died, but it was done. Exhausting, but done. Uh, well, uh, well done. Uh, Neverwinter and the rest of the coast can, uh, sleep easy now. I mean, taking him down in the middle of his stronghold, well, that's what he gets for coming here. So... Precisely. But it's all done now, so we're almost there. We're in the mm. end now. One Quite last so. bastard to put down in the earth. When do you uh, plan to leave for these uh, these vestiges? Well, we can access. We have access. To, thankfully, along our travels, we made an alliance and got friendship with the Ufgard tribe, whose people care for the grandfather tree. So we can gain access to that pretty easily. But uh, when will you be leaving? Tomorrow? <sighs> Today? I think we need. We've got a couple of days for business. No. We won't take. Well, it's up to you. Mm. I need to sort I'll out say, the. Uh... It will take you um, if you want to read the books before you go on your your, your journey. I'll say it probably will take you at least four days. Technically, day daylight with your sleeping pattern, you could do it quicker. But Tristan, it would take you at least four days. Hmm. Well, how long have <laughs> we got left overall? Like twenty nine days now. Uh, what would be thirty two? Thirty two days. It's so also good for me. I need four days to take an island. That is no problem. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, do we? I'll, I'll just turn to the others and I'll be like, well, what do you think? We are on a timer, but I have things to do. Dela has. Wait, it's up to you guys. What, what do yeah. you. Um, Sang would just be like, yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, classic Sang. Didn't expect anything less. 
Yeah. Rogar will be like, um, well, I think we should at least like um do our research into these like planes of existence. Uh, yes. We should probably like spend some some time doing that. That might take like well, two we, days. We can go. Ever. We can go to the archives. Yeah. So. Because I imagine they'll be like not the most hospitable of places. Uh, no, wandering into the abyss unprepared is probably going to get us killed. So. Yeah. Ooh. Let's let's do some research. Yeah, we'll be we'll be around for I'll be here for a few days. Alan. I've updated the quest log if you go into handouts and it tells you the very specific details of these planes of existence. At least what you what your characters would know right now. Um, oh well, so in that so case, I suppose feel free I might to have a, a good read through all of those. In fact, Adam, if you could at least pull it up for the recording so oh, that yes, pe course. people at home can uh, have have a read. Wait, sorry, where is it? Uh, in, in three weeks. In in handouts. To be fair, I might give up the braces then in that case. Because I think, yeah, me... I think you probably would. Of, of yeah, the... they give yeah. me plus two AC, but yeah. if I'm hasted, I get plus two anyway, so <laughs> probably do that again. Uh, yeah. And 20, yeah. 20 AC is nothing to sniff at. 20 AC is good. Yeah. 20 AC is good. Yeah, I think I'll be fine without the book then. Yeah, in that case, Tristan, you're probably <laughs> the only one who should, should read it. Sure. Well, I'll start doing that then. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, I, can't, I can't get rid of all this battle of Neverwinter stuff now. So, mm. yeah. Uh, so, I need to talk <coughs> to... Um... Oh, yes. Wait, Sir Alistair. Check your wallet. Yes, Sir Alistair. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You got 80, 82,000 gold. Um, that... <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You, he, he, had, he, with it. he had a total of 620,000. Obviously, you've still got your 150 to drop off to Zardo's sword. Oh, sorry, Jarlaxle. Oh, yeah, I need to and, do that as well, yeah. Um, yeah, play, play uh, Is he still... In... He should still be here, right? Um... Asking around, he is not still here. He, oh, okay. he went pretty much straight back. Well, I can oh, ask uh, Rogar to TP up, up to Luskin, because I've got a lot of business to do. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah. So, I've got Sir Alistair, and I need... Um... Oh, uh, are the Margasters still here? Uh, yeah, you would imagine so. Okay, brilliant. Cause I wanna, uh, but I want to talk to Ariadne, not... Um... Yeah, well, you can summon whomever you wish. Yeah, so I'll... Sir Alistair, then I'll talk to Ariadne, then I'll ask Rogar if he could teleport me to Luskin. Yeah. Alistar will uh, see you, Tristan. Mm -hmm. And you can tell immediately from his expression he's not particularly with you. Um, but he will walk up and uh, do a quick bow and say, King Tristan. Now, before you say anything, uh, I've just had this discussion with Sir Ryland. And when I, I know what you've said to Sir Ryland. He has spoken with me. Yes. Um, please, would... if you could... Uh, just set up this uh, this sect in in the city as you promised. I will be uh, leading the sect, yep. as I've been informed. Um, the armor as well. Yes, the um, armor. Yeah, we can hand that over. Yeah, he just takes it. Uh, the Hall of Justice um, will be rebuilt. The sect will operate out of there. Uh, you'll find it more than enough, as it should be, as it once was, uh, mm -hmm. for the knights. Good. Um, better to have it restored to its former purpose than what it became. Well, and I believe some good might as well come from your betrayal. If you consider it a betrayal, sir, then so be it. But Tom spoke to me. He gave me the will to take the, the path that I needed to do. And here in this city, with two dragons slain and a tyrant cast down, justice reigns in this city once again. Tom's rule re-established and maintained for generations to come under my family. If you have a problem with that, sir, you may take it up with our god yourself. But He would just sort of give a little smirk and say, the gods give us a chance to make of our lives what we want. If Torm had told you not to become king, then he wouldn't be doing his job. However, having spent some time with you all and having heard of your exploits, I have... Absolutely no doubt that you could have achieved all that you have and more without becoming king and betraying your oath. Ah, well, if I'd betrayed my oath, then I still wouldn't have the blessing of Torm, and yet still I have it. You have and the then... blessing of Torm regardless. You don't have the blessing of me. Well, sir, you're a knight of an order who I respect most. Well, you're, Not, what does your but... respect mean? Well, what is the respect of an oathbreaker? If you consider me an oathbreaker, then so be it. And you think I did not agonize over the decision I made? I made the choice. I have seen your I have seen your type before, boy. 
you you hide behind your oaths when really it is just power you seek. Yeah. And I'm yes. So you you admit it. Of course. Well, yes. Of course. If you believe that, then so be it. I know the it truth. It is not about belief, boy. It is about facts. I. Well, facts are what we make of events. A fact, it based on your opinion, is what you believe. And sir, if you believe that, then so be it. Take yourself to the Hall of Justice. The sect is there. It is yours to lead. You will, you will however, do me due reverence as, as king of this city. You can keep your opinions to yourself. It is as simple as that. Either you respect the fact that what I did here was in the name of the greater good, the people of the city, and those who are, we are sworn to protect, who were willingly abandoned by those who came before me. And you will accept the fact that our God gave me the will, the drive, and the ability to once again bring his light to this city. And you will keep your tongue silent. No matter the respect I have for you, I will not brook your disrespect towards me, this city, or the crown that I bear, and the name that I carry. You will keep it all to yourself, no matter what. For if I did not care about the Order of the Golden Lion, nor the, the oaths that we stand by, nor the people we swear to protect, then you would not be standing in this hall right now, and this city would be in ruins. So I will not hear any broke about power hunger, or desperate human need. I will not hear it, or it is not true. Um, now, take this whole time, he, uh, he doesn't really seem faced by like anything that you're saying. Um, he just sort of looks down at the ground, like, chuckles to himself, says, I thought I saw something in you once. I was wrong. Just turn. What a shrug. Yeah, he'll say, By the way, boy, the moment you stop telling people to state the truth, state their opinions, you become just as evil as the rest of them. When the opinion is not truth nor fact, it is not important. Lies brook no justice. You are lying to yourself! Am I? Here I stand in perfectly clear conscience, knowing what I did was correct and the true path to do. I had a choice. But you are not fit to be king. And that um, is the simple fact. Your results are commendable. I have no I am not disputing the results. However, you've already made several mistakes as king in the even in the month that you have been king. And all of these have been due to your own lack of foresight, your own hubris, your own ego. And have I not stood to the challenge of all my mistakes and corrected them, stood up and not denied them, admitted my mistakes, and have you? fixed them? Have yes, you admitted them? I have. All my mistakes? <laughs> I was the one who led Hundar here. Yes, correct. I put a target on Neverwinter's, Neverwinter's back, and yet I followed, pursued, killed him with my friends, put him down into the dirt like the dog that he was. The more you openly deny the truth, the more you will succumb to folly. Once again, sir, your truth is not fact. You can go with what you believe is correct. Look, boy, I'm trying to help you here. Help I'm me Trying how? to make you help me realize. By, help me by insulting me. You do not. If you come offering help, sir, need not remember that I am the one who's crossed the threshold of death and come back. I came back. You are not the only one. Yes. Well, then you should understand, should you not? We are here as mere mortals to fill the god's purpose. I have been given purpose by Torm to lead this city once more under the, the rightful family name. That is not purpose by Torm, that is purpose that you have put upon yourself. Torm because of your ego, me that. Because of your lust for power. What Do ego? not try to deny it. You were not here. You did not see the events. You hear and things yet I, and, yet and yet I have spoken things. with your counsellors. I have heard of your exploits. I have heard of your mistake. Everyone makes mistakes, sir. And yet you do not learn from yours. What mistakes have I not learnt from? You keep saying this, but yet you don't give me anything. You give empty words. All right, I'll give you a few examples. You would have let this city burn had it not been for one of your company, a member of who disobey your orders and speak with the dragon, learning of the coming attack. When you returned, you claimed that this was just an attack that was going to happen anyway and had nothing to do with you, even though it seems you were the root cause of it. And you spoke this, speaking with Arlong, with the same confidence with which you speak to me now, and yet you were wholly wrong. He'll just nod, say, I hope you figure it out in time. He'll just leave. <sighs> uh, who would you like to summon next? We here for this, by the way. Uh, no, this would just have been a Tristan thing. 
Okay, oh, cool. I was going to offer to assassinate him for you, Tristan. <laughs> I, was to remind, I was also going to remind Tristan that we have built a chapel in Waterdeep. Have we? No, we didn't. Yeah, I thought no, we did. I think he, he was like one, potentially planning to do that, but obviously then uh, I we built we one at Draconia, didn't we? Yeah, there was one in yeah. Draconia, and then but oh. he had plans for a Waterdeep one, but it moved to Neverwinter. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, oh, in that case. Because, oh, you know, in, in Neverwinter, I don't have to do planning permission in Neverwinter. I am the planning, I am the planning, planning, planning permission, permission now. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, speaking of this, can I be next? Uh, I'm summoning Ariadne next. Yeah, I want to. Oh, can't you summon me? <laughs> <laughs> summon me, daddy. <laughs> summon me. Well, I'm. Yeah, go on then, read fine. But I'll have the council here for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, before you said you were going to the throne room, no yeah. one else said they were going with you, so that's why I said no one, no one else was there. Yeah. But if the rest of you now want to be there, sure, you can. Well, be. before I summon Reed, I want to talk to the council first. Okay, go. Okay. So I'll summon, like you know, Arlon Murphy, all that lot. Yeah, councilors there. Okay, excellent. Right. Um, so Alistair, you? unhappy mm -hmm. but settling down in the Hall of Justice. Now, he would her. Uh, have me here that uh, I've made plenty of mistakes currently as my time of, uh, as king and I'd look to ask you all of you is uh, between all of us do you continue continue to consider me worthy of this position or not um more I will say your coming was the catalyst that saved this city I believe you are worthy enough your grace you will just like bow um Alan will say you've made your mistakes to be sure but uh the blood runs through your veins, the Alagondor blood. I think time will prove you. It's too early to tell, basically. Um, Simon Gold's just like, I, uh, I see the, I see the, the blood of the old kings in you. I see that spark. I think, I think you'll do well. And the rest is just sort of like, shrug. Well, once again, I remind you all, if you believe that I've strayed from the path or have placed this city even into worse Arlo position than before, you know what to do. Yeah, Alan will speak up and say, well, you absolutely did all of that and more, but uh, you've put that to rights. You've made your amends. Um, I think whatever your business with this Alistar guy was, uh, that's to do with you and your god, not to do with any of us. Mm. Well, I still remain blessed in Torm's favour, so I'll take from that what I will. Yes. Uh, anyway, so... Two proposals of business I need to discuss with all of you. Uh, the Blades of Trust have approached me with a request, and I'm speaking now as King, I'm no longer a member of the Blades. And this is why I talk to you, uh, my council, that they wish to rebuild the Cloak Tower and mine the uh, the gems beneath it. Now, I told, I, told, I told Reed that I would consider his proposal with the council, because I believe that as the gems are Neverwinter property, we should, as a city, have a cut of it. Mordai will speak up this point. Well, as treasurer, um, would we be um, funding this effort? Well, I believe Reed would make a proposal where if the Blades pay for the uh, the restoration of the Cloak Tower, then the percentage of which the city takes is a lower cut. I think that sounds fair. So long as the Blades pay for the, the restoration of the Cloak Tower, then uh, I think uh, they should get most of the... Uh, the profits of what's there. I think it's not so long as Neverwinter gets a 25% cut. It seems reasonable. Anything? Anyone else? Everyone else would just sort of shrug and be like, yeah, this is Mordai's, like, you know, area of expertise. Very well. All right, well, we'll call Reed in. We'll have a discussion with him. Uh, I'd like you all to be here for that, please. Mm -hmm. um, secondly, uh, I don't know how many of you... I have been approached for uh, a marriage alliance, of course. Uh, I'm considering the proposal but uh, I'd rather talk to Ariadne Margasta herself first before taking that any further. Um, so that will be considered as well. Uh, oh, and our alliance uh, with Luskan will be repaid today as well, so you can scrap that one off the jobs to do. Very well, Your Grace. Um, so yes, let us summon Reed and then Ariadne, but I'll talk to Ariadne alone. Yes, do you want to summon just like the blades? Yes, we'll summon the blades. So the blades are summoned to the council. Everyone is I'll there. be like, first of all, we're the Tristan, you've changed. We're getting summoned now. We're getting summoned. <laughs> yes, well, Mate, that's we're what, friends. Yes, that's what I'm doing. That's why you're. Oh, that's why you're here you before everyone else. 
Dude, is is a friend not asking another friend to hang out a summoning? Yeah. Not really. Like <laughs> formal, man. I, I thought we were beyond that. Yeah, this is a formal discussion regarding the city, Reed. <laughs> Oh, I guess, not, I guess. I guess when we get this cloak tower thing, we can summon Tristan there. Well, no, <laughs> no, 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 I don't no, think no. we will summon Tristan. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this cloak tower. Um, yeah. So my proposal is we we essentially um, own the cloak tower and the surrounding area uh, to s establish essentially I don't know the Blades of Drus Company yeah, as a as a current permanent presence in a uh, neverwinter i think we should um uh we're gonna pay for the cost of refurbishing the area um but as we're a company um we'll have our own like guards um and our own um uh essentially we're gonna mine it but also our own operation going on within the cloak tower that's uh, our proposal yes um, this is Mordai speaking as well. So, yes, uh, King Tristan has informed us, and I believe uh, so long as you are willing to um, pay for the refurbishment yourselves, um, a 25% cut to the city um, seems more than reasonable. 25%? Well, we do we do currently own it by law. It is on Neverwinter's property. Oh, that's a bit harsh. 25%? Come on. I think, we I think I'm being more than reasonable with this discussion. Tristan, we saved the city for crying out loud. We we helped. That, that means you. To be clear, you're still getting seventy five percent of the profits. That's a, most of the profits. Still, I thought at the, we'd be more inclined to get it for completely free for our contribution to this city, our permanent contribution I, to this city. Reed, the city was saved, yes, but you have noticed that whilst we were here, it's with, the city is not exactly in the best state, is it? And yeah, but we I, need income. I mean, and the thing is, we need income, we need an industry, and by handing over the mining to the Blades, that's an, in an industry revenue that the city loses, which we desperately need. Yeah, I'm still proposing that we give you a, a cut of that, but not to that extent. I could help procure funds another way, um, but just not through the actual mining itself. I I'm just pay tax propo on like, the profits. I, that's what this is. <laughs> Pretty I'm much. Proposing to, I, I mean, Blades have just will also be giving trade to the city. Plus as well, we, we sacrificed a lot of cannons for this city. I mean, and we're not asking for the the cost back of those, and they are really expensive. Well, yes, but you did so of your own accord, and you weren't asking for anything in return, therefore we owe you nothing. In order to save the city, though, which would not be here if... Um, you got to think, we've defended it not only once from a drop, I'll just but like, twice. I'll, I'll just be like, listen, okay, what cut would you propose to the city? You're saying a lot of things, give me the facts. What cut would you I give think, the city? I think 10%. 10%? Yeah. We would, be, we, would do, we would be more beneficial to just pay for the refurbishments ourselves, Your Grace, and take all of the profits. How much are the refurbishments? Well... Probably a good few thousand, I imagine. Reed, you're asking us to give up a pretty big chunk of our income. It's not your income like, like this. No, but it, like, no, but it can be. With them. It can be our chunk of income for the city. Like I say, we, we would probably be just better off just paying for it ourselves and then getting all of the... The, the reward would then be much more beneficial for us if we just did it all ourselves. But what, what if we offered you a discount on our mercenary services? Well, we don't really think we... Well, to be honest, we can't really afford you, um, even with a discount. Uh, let's say if the city was ever in need, we were to offer those mercenaries for free. These are all hearsay and, oh, we, we may do this, we may do that, but it would have to be in writing. Even then, I still think the city is in more need of money than it is of mercenaries right now. Didn't didn't the money that Tristan just brought back, didn't you say it, it covered the debt and more? Well, yes, it covered the debt and more. A lump but sum this is a lump sum. This is still a, a city that has suffered a lot over the years and still needs a lot of rebuilding. We may have paid off our debts, but we still now, now that we need to look after our own. What if we pay an upfront fee as well, just to get to get it down to a 10% uh, um, uh, installments uh, make a persuasion check what it says if that was possible i'd 
I think we could potentially drop go down to 20%, but any more would be foolish, Your Grace. I'm just going to say, all right, listen. Reed, the city still needs to make income. 20% is a more than reasonable cut of the margin. You are still making 80% profit, and you'll be raking in the profits from those mines. Now, I know the finances of the Blades because I've managed them for over a year. Yeah, we're not making that. We're not making that much. Also, didn't didn't you just loot a red dragon's hoard, the most powerful dragon on the coast? Surely we have enough money. Yeah, but that's not that's not nothing to do with the blades of trust. Well, it's still the money you have. 20, Why do you need more? Twenty percent of a mining income to the city. You have eighty percent of the rest. The blades of trust has a favoured position within the city, a permanent place here, which is more than any mercenary company can ever say. Okay, but fine, we also want a permanent, like, seat on the council. <laughs> and who would fill the, the council seat, Reed? I don't know, I'd need to find someone, but I'm, I'm thinking, like... Just <laughs> uh, <laughs> a like, random person. You, have to, you, can, you can approve of the person. <laughs> you can reject it. I, instead of a council position, you can have a liaison within the court. That's... That's nothing. <laughs> yes, it is. How many mercenary companies can say they have an official member within the court of a ruler? You therefore have the literal ear of me the entire time. That's what the council member no, positions for. No, the council's here to help me manage the city and give, to give advice. Yeah, the cloak tower can do that. What? Okay, what? fine. We'll take a court member position at twenty percent, but I'm not paying any upfront costs. That's we're I'll not telling do... you to. That's I... all right. We have an accord. There we go, right, Mordai, get a contract signed up. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna look at Tristan and be like, no offense, but like this Mordai guy, like who do you trust more really? Well, Come on. I trust Mord I trust Mordai to With finances, you trust the man who trust, is the I trust, treasurer. I trust Mordai to manage the finances of this city accordingly, Reed. I'm a king, I have people to look after and people to feed. His Grace oh, needs someone to play him a song, I would direct him towards you. But you need to understand, Reed, that like, yes, you are my friends and you are my dear companions. But at the end of the day, I have a population to look after, and people to feed. They are import. They are the most important thing to me. Yeah. This... Speaking of people, um, how would you feel, Tristan? Uh, separate to the last thing, how would you feel about lending me four hundred soldiers? What for? What? I need about four hundred soldiers uh, to take to reconquer a, an island. No. What? I'm not sending 400 of my already limited garrison to go and garrison a volcano. The city's weak enough as it is. It'd only be for a week. A week is a long time. Bro, it's going to take them weeks to get there. <laughs> who's who's getting that? We'll get Barry on it. Eight a day. Eight a day? <laughs> <laughs> eight a day. That no, is the max Barry. he could do, by the way, because he'd have to go there and back. So yeah, eight I'll a day. get the wizard as well. So Bro, 16 Bazzard. a day. This is no. I'm not sending my men on a. <laughs> no, just hire mercenaries from Mintan. If like I was to come up with twenty thousand gold, can I like lower it down? So what you're saying is you'd like to, if you donated a lump sum of money to the city treasury, you want the percentage to be lowered. Yes. That percent, that lump sum would have to be determined on how much money we are making off the profits that you provide. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. That seems reasonable, Your Grace? Yes. Okay. All good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm going to make some monies. Okay. Day last sang. Rob, rob every single person you can find in Neverwinter. <laughs> <laughs> Go pick pocket What's Christmas. the joke? <laughs> I, just kind of like, I just kind of like I just kind of like cock my eyebrow at that. We'll get to Ariadne stuff next session, and then just so I know, after that, your guys are pretty much ready to head off to planes of existence. Yep. Well, actually, you're not. You've still got a bunch of research to do, but we'll yes. get to that next session.